Hey guys, Gary here from FencePixels.com, and I'm just super, super excited, um, amped up, pumped up to be doing this video for you today. I want to talk about our, our new product called Fence Pixels. Uh, the Fence Pixels are basically small little plastic clips that attach to any chain link fence to create a design to really brighten up the fence, really bring it to life. Uh, as you can see in some of these pictures here, they come in 25 different colors. You can make virtually any design you could possibly think of. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come up here and click um, create. Now then it's going to prompt you to either register for an account or you can just go ahead and continue as guest and that's what we're going to do today. And here we are. We're in the applicator. This is the uh, application. So the first thing you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to size your fence to the size of the fence that you personally have that you're going to be putting this design on. So if say if you have a six foot fence you're going to want to choose six feet. If you have a four foot fence you want to choose four feet, eight, ten, whatever you want. So for this we're just going to go, uh, I'm going to choose ten and, and twenty feet just to get some good even numbers. And so once you have that set you're going to want to come down here and add logo. Go to browse, browse file. Going to click upload. And there we go we got uh, our apple there. And we could grab that and kind of move it around, place it wherever we want. We can stretch it out as big as we want. Now, I do want to emphasize the fact that the bigger you stretch it out and the bigger you make your picture on the fence, the better job the application is going to do pixelating it. And it's going to create a better image for you, a clearer image that will require less editing. So the bigger you can get it, the better if you get it fully to scale on the fence that you're going to be using. And a little trick here, if you just go up here to the top, you can click here and that'll get rid of the sidebar menu. That'll give you a little bit more fence to work with. And you can bring that back. I'm just going to make this just a nice size here for today. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So once you're happy with where you have it, the size and everything, you're going to want to go ahead and click Set to Fence. And this is really where the magic starts to happen. This is where it's going to start pixelating your image. It's going to start turning this these colors into bright, vivid fence pixels. All right, there we go. So now we see we got a nice looking um, apple here. It's got a nice stem, nice shape to it. And yeah, that looks pretty good. That did a good job of pixelating that picture into what we were looking for it to do. Uh, now there is just a couple things I'm noticing right off the top here. I, I see a couple, there's a little brown one here and a little brown one there. I'm just going to want to change that. So I'm going to quickly show you how to manually do that. You're going to want to come down here to freehand color. Choose the color you want. In this case I'm using red. So I'm going to want to fill in that and just click on the squares that you want to change. And you'll change those to red. And other than that, that whole design looks pretty good for me. Um, if you want to erase any you just come down here and turn the eraser on and you could click here you can kind of erase some if you want you could kind of do whatever you want to manually make it make it your own and how you want it to look on your fence but once that's finished we're going to go on ahead and go to next here all right and since we logged in as a guest account we didn't create an account it's going to prompt you to create an account so you're just going to hit yes you're going to want to enter in your first name last name your email and then go next and it's going to ask you to to verify your email address once you do that you'll be able to to fill out your shipping information where you want the product to be shipped and that's pretty much it it's really really quite simple it only takes a couple minutes to to make a, a basic design in this in the editor so if you have any questions, please reach out to us at fencepixels at gmail.com or leave us a comment on any of our social media that we have. Please give us a follow on our social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, um, Pinterest as well. So give us a follow and uh, I'll see you in another video. So take care, guys.